Welcome to this video explaining how to get started with the Digital MEMS Microphone STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board. This board is part of the STM32 Open Development Environment, a fast and affordable way to prototype and develop innovative devices and applications with state-of-the-art ST components. Information on how to obtain the board can be found on st.com slash xnucleo under the reference xnucleo CCA02M1. The package includes the board itself and an insert card that provides a first level of information on the main features. The board is built around two ST Digital MEMS microphones. A daughter board with four additional microphones can be plugged in to build cost-effective microphone arrays. A USB connector allows the system to interface with a PC as a standard multi-channel microphone. Finally, the board is equipped with Arduino Uno R3 and ST Morpho connectors, allowing it to be plugged into an STM32 Nucleo development board. To start building your prototype, plug the STM32 Nucleo expansion board onto an STM32 Nucleo development board. The list of compatible boards can be found on st.com. Next, connect the STM32 Nucleo development board to a PC using a mini USB cable. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Visit st.com and search for the keyword xnucleo CCA02M1. Click on the main part number link. Then, go to the Tools and Software section and click on the X-Cube link. Finally, go to the end of the page and click on the Download button in the Get Software section. When downloaded, just unzip the file in the folder you want. In the software package, you will find directories with all the required material. Now, let's try a sample application that allows you to record sound from the microphones and stream it via USB. The firmware to be installed is called Audio Acquisition and can be found in the Applications folder of the Projects directory, as shown here. Select the STM32 Nucleo development board you are using and drag and drop the binary file onto the Nucleo disk drive. Now, connect the expansion board to the PC using a mini USB cable. In the Windows Device Manager, you should now see a new standard USB microphone called STM32 Audio Streaming in FS mode. To record the microphone's audio data, third-party audio recording software is required. Here, we are using an open source program called Audacity. Launch the application and check that the input device is set to the STM32 audio streaming input. Then press the record button to start recording the sound captured by the two onboard microphones. Discover more features and software add-ons on st.com slash open software. Open.audio is a catalog of free and easy-to-use software packages for the development of audio applications. It includes OSX Acoustic BF for beamforming applications, OSX Acoustic SL for sound source localization, and OSX Acoustic EC for acoustic echo cancellation. A comprehensive set of documentation for the STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board, including a user manual, application notes, quick start guide, and data sheet, is also available. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit st.com slash stm32ode.